Hi, my name is Kurt Reese, and uh, I'm going to tell you who I am and how I became that way. I'm an elementary school principal in Wisconsin, but before that, I was born in the great state of South Dakota, which was a really nice place to, to grow up. Nothing too exciting to describe, but I just know that it was a really good childhood. Often when people think of South Dakota, they think of pheasant hunting and farming. That's pretty accurate. I was born in April of 1973, and the next year I was joined by my brother Carter. Life was pretty good, and it got more interesting when brother Clay joined us the following year after that, so my parents had three boys in three consecutive years, and I can certainly understand uh, why they were always told us how tired they were. These guys continue to be a fantastic part of my life. I'm proud of my brother Carter, who's a professor in criminal justice at Arizona State University. When we are together, we still have a fun time, like we were still little kids. My brother Clay, is uh, he just got out of the military. He was a full-timer on the guard for many years. Spent some time in Afghanistan and Iraq. So life was pretty good. Never had a lot of money and always qualified for free and reduced lunch. But I felt like mom and dad always made good enough decisions uh, with the money that we did have. And uh, they certainly made sure I had wheels to keep me entertained. My family certainly has been important to me, but so has school. Well, I started off in first grade with uh, some good words of advice from my first grade teacher about uh, making sure I get work completed and uh, stay on task. But I figured things out from then and uh, went on to find great enjoyment and certainly some good success in school. I never really thought about diversity as a student as I was from the majority status, uh, but certainly I think about my privilege now uh, as, as I work with uh, students and families in my own school. I had some fantastic teachers uh, growing up. They certainly supported me and uh, appropriately challenged me and uh, I'm very thankful for all that they've done for me. Got through high school, I was a valedictorian of my small high school and it's uh, something I'm so proud of today because I know all the, the help that other people gave me to accomplish that. So off to college I go. And I developed a good work ethic in high school and I carried that on to college and I did fine academically but more important than that, I beefed up my social life and uh, met this young lady, my dear wife, Keely, who has uh, meant the world to me since the day I met her. A really big influence on who I am right now as an educator is uh, being a parent. Uh, I have two kids, Harper and Gavin, and uh, through their eyes and experiences and hearts, I really think a lot about how I treat the students at my school and certainly how I treat their families uh, to be supportive, to have the kind of environment that I did growing up uh, with a supportive family in school. I know that not every kid will have the type of uh, support system that I did when I was growing up. But what I really think is incredibly important, certainly in the school that uh, I have charge of, is to provide the kind of environment in the school that is as supportive as possible, uh, to make sure that kids have every opportunity to be successful in life, and to try to find the type of enjoyment and success that I did as a student. And to wrap this all up, something I think about all the time is just uh, you know, the gift that life is, and it, while I'm not a greatly religious person, I would say I'm spiritual, and I think about Psalm 118, 24. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it.